Well, this is an encounter that fans have been buzzing about. It's the veteran Wes Briscoe with his aces and eights contingent on the outside against the young upstart, brash upstart, Magnum McLaren with that huge seven foot bodyguard on the outside, Big Daddy Diamond. This is gonna be an epic encounter. And I must say off the top, what I have not been impressed with Magnum is the fact that he seems to believe that, that he's above the law here in Great North Wrestling with defacing the poster and interacting in a disrespectful way with myself. King, what are your thoughts on this? Well, you know, Jack, Magna McLaren is no gentleman. You, you are a true gentleman, <laughs> indeed. And, and as far as Wes Briscoe goes, I had the pleasure of being a guest on uh, his show with JBL, two WWE Hall of Famers, having the King on to discuss the great Billy Robinson. And that was a very, very, very entertaining, uh, uh, entertaining show for folks to check out the Briscoe and Bradshaw podcast. But I gotta say, this this big guy walking outside the ring here with Magnum McLaren, shades of a one man gang. You remember the one man gang? Absolutely, Big Daddy Diamond. And I must also comment on the start. It, it appears that Magnum is really uh, somewhat, I, I don't know, nervous. And, and Briscoe is uh, quite, quite, quite relaxed, in no hurry to lock up. But that, again, is a veteran piece of psychology to make the other individual come to you. And we've just had the bell. You know it. You know it. Uh, you know, the... I like to take a powder or two and egg on the fans. Oh, speaking of taking a powder, Magna McLaren uh, taking a powder here. As they circle each other, both athletes in tremendous shape, and you've got to give the experience edge to Briscoe. Oh, and there you go, another powder. You know, shades of the great Larry Zabisco there uh, oh, from uh, Magna McLaren. And Wes taunting him. Again, you can see the veteran ring psychology here, can't you, King? Oh, yeah, doing the old, the old chicken. Uh, yeah, Wes learned a lot from his father, of course. Jack and Jerry Briscoe, both standout wrestlers, cowboys from Oklahoma, from Oklahoma State. And um, you know that, that Wes has been wrestling almost since he was in diapers man he is a um he is a veteran he is a veteran and he's considerably older uh than magnum Mc magnum mclaren magnum mclaren is a, a a brash young man is he not well as much as i hate to admit it he is what we would call a prodigy he is not even 20 years old at this time and he has such skills that a lot of people are shocked when they learn that that he is as good as he is at this stage of his life and he's finally getting back into the ring i am impressed with uh briscoe's psychology here he is in no hurry we might even get a lockup now nope yeah you know this is great this is the i'm impressed with young magnum mclaren he is uh this is a tactic that uh the legendary Larry Zabisco and your own King of Connecticut used. If you go back and you watch my match uh, on the on the network on the Hannibal TV uh, with the late great Stefan Bonner, where I tagged with Gina Carucci against Stefan and Summer Steel, I used those powders and egging on the fans to get into the head of the late great American Psycho. And typically, a young man like a Magnum McLaren um, is going to be so eager. To go at it but here at earl armstrong arena he is showing shades of the great larry zabisco or the, or the great king of connecticut and uh, he's getting perhaps into the head oh, a little bit of less briscoe wiping his derriere with magnum's belt i should add at this point in time that big daddy diamond is a presence on the outside of the ring that that i would think could counteract the uh, aces and eights as one of the aces and eights on the ring apron right now that is not called for that is something that we can't allow and the referee needs to turn around and watch what's happening we might finally see a, a lockup here though 
I think we are. Perfect. Our elbow tie up. Side headlock, Magna McLaren. Controlling Briscoe. Briscoe shoots him off. Nice shoulder block. Shades of, as you would say, a, a young Paul Levesque in WCW, Triple H. Yeah, you know, he's kind of like if, if uh, Triple H and Jericho uh, merged together. Uh, he's kind of like the love child of Triple H and Jericho, this Magna McLaren, a prodigy indeed. And setting his own path. I, again, as much as I am not a appreciative of his attitude, especially in dealing with the executive vice president of Great North Wrestling, i got to give him his props. Another tie up here and a side headlock this time by Briscoe. Off the ropes. Boom. Oh, nice tackle. Big shoulder block and a powder. Boy, you nice. are right. You are right, King. I see a lot of the living legend Larry Zabisco in this man, too. He's obviously a student of the game, that being the man. Absolutely. And, you know, less is more. And Larry uh, passed that on to me. Uh, you know, and, and Larry Zabisco was a great guest on Old School Shooters. We should take this opportunity to tell folks, as was Wes Briscoe's father, Jerry, the show that you and I co-host, and sometimes we bring in Colin Crandall uh, for the third man in the booth. Uh, look at that chicken. He's, he's doing the old, the old, oh, you're a chicken, you're a chicken, McLaren. And it seems, uh, yeah. to, be, it seems to be getting to Magnum because, I've, of course, in studying tape and bringing in wrestlers to Great North Wrestling, I, I've watched a lot of his matches, and I haven't seen, and there you go, a hip toss. Again, out of anger, West being in Magnum's head. I've not seen Magnum react like this before, so Briscoe certainly has the psychological advantage at this point with a vicious, vicious arm ringer and fireman's carry takeover. Classic. Beautiful fireman's carry follows that up with that leg drop. You can, like you can tell. Oh, and another powder. You can see, um, you can see that Jerry um, and uh, Jack were a big influence on this young man, on Jerry Briscoe's son, uh, because you see in, in that arm ringer, the way that he set that up for that fireman's carry. What we're seeing here is an old school professional wrestling match, and I absolutely love it. And that's what I love about being up here at the Earl Armstrong Arena with you. You know, we, ha we were discussing this last night at the rabbit hole. We were out having some belts, uh, Jack, having some cold ones. And uh, we were talking about how Great North Wrestling is so old school. Ooh, kick right oh, there by you. Uh, Shabbat kick by Briscoe. Punches to the midsection. It's starting to heat up now. I'm a little concerned about the uh, all the uh, individuals in the side of the ring here. This is, uh, the referee really needs to be on his game. Oh, and a tremendous clothesline into the corner. And a oh. bulldog. What do you bulldog, think old school bulldog. Old and he school. floats and over with that spin. half Nelson. One, two. Kick out. And that was beautiful. You don't see the bulldog um, utilized effectively. That was like shades of the of the great Barry Windham there. Look at the aces and eights trying to get into it with uh, Big Daddy Diamond, but he has no part of it. Irish whip. I'm gonna have to speak to the referee about maintaining some order here in these matches. Oh, look at that submission, oh, man. Very nice. Very nice submission by Briscoe, but on the ropes, he's going to have to break it. Look wow, at the athleticism there of Briscoe. And Briscoe had no spring chicken, but he gets around that ring effectively. Tremendous. Oh, Ooh, a big old one-man gang. What's his name again, Jack? Big Daddy Diamond. But it big Daddy Briscoe, Diamond. It appears oh. that Briscoe slipped. He slipped on the apron. Jack, you know, I think I'm rubbing off on you. He did uh, slip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I, I don't like what I'm seeing here. I'm if you ain't cheating, if you ain't cheating, you okay. ain't trying, right, Jack? Jeez, Jack Kilby leaving the broadcast booth here. Uh, man, Diamond, Jack Kilby having some words here with Magnum McLaren. Man, what's Kilby doing out there? My broadcast partner, executive vice president. Oh, big elbow there. 
by Magnum McLaren. One, two, near fall. McLaren having words with Kilby. <laughs> man, this is wild. Oh, man, what, what's Magnum doing there? Choking. McLaren choking Wes Briscoe. Where's Jack? What, what's Jack doing? Walking around ringside. Man, the electricity here at the Earl Armstrong Arena. Big suplex coming up here by Magna McLaren after his cheating tactics. Oh! Looks like it's being reversed here by Wes. No. Snaps Frisco over. And this McLaren, he is a prodigy. Putting the boots to Wes Briscoe. Looks like maybe he's going for a camel clutch here. Straddling his man. And where is Jack? Where's Kilby? He left the broadcast booth. He's hanging out at ringside. McLaren as Briscoe laid out on the canvas. Front headlock. Ooh, firing back, Wes Briscoe. Wes Briscoe with a cross body block and another near fall. Big clothesline there by McLaren. One, two, another near fall. Where is Jack Kilby? What's he doing? Jack, come back here, man. You're supposed to be calling the action with me. Oh! Big boot! Right to the skull there. Of Wes Briscoe. Look at how McLaren is driving his foot into the throat of Wes Briscoe. Kelby still at ringside. Gentleman Jack Kelby not acting like a gentleman here. Leaving me by myself in the broadcast booth. Maybe he just wants a closer look at the action. I know he's got some heat with uh, McLaren. Big right hands there from Wes. Big shot to the skull. Another one. Oh! Shades of Arn Anderson from Magna McLaren. A near fall. And Kilby just hanging out there at ringside. Reversal. Nice kip up. Man. That night here at Earl Armstrong Arena. What's going on? What in the world is going on with Magna McLaren on the on the ring apron? McCare McLaren, high risk maneuver there. Eats an elbow. Eats a clothesline. Eats another elbow from West Briscoe. Boot to the midsection. Reversal there by McLaren. Neck breaker there by Bress West Briscoe. Pancakes him. Another near fall. Jack Kilby just abandoned me here. I don't understand his motives. You know, gentlemen, Jack and I are supposed to be calling the action here together. Oh!
second one. McLaren is positioning Briscoe for some high flying maneuvers. From the top rope! Oh, misses his mark there on West Briscoe. Oh, better now. What's Kilby doing? What the hell is Kilby doing? Kilby getting in the ring? I told he's got the belt in his hand. I told you that Kilby had some heat. Oh, Kilby! John Kilby just just drove that belt into the skull of Wes Briscoe. And Magna McLaren has won the match. Man, hanging out at the rabbit hole with me last night, Jack Kilby. In the words of the original Hannibal, I love it when a plan comes together.